an AMI digital exclusive. Fashion Dis. My name is Wesley McGee Saxton. I'm 23 and my disability is cerebral palsy. I'm a non-binary actor and a healthcare professional who spends their time geeking out over Lord of the Rings and Star Wars and fantasy and sci-fi stuff. Next up, a mentor session with performance coach, Kara. Wes, hello. I'm very excited to meet you. I'm excited to talk with you. What's your ideal role? Like if you could cast yourself in anything today, what would it be? Oh, that would depend on if you're doing classical or modern. Oh. So from a theater perspective, I love King Lear. I would love to do Edgar. But in terms of modern film, I would absolutely adore the opportunity to bring representation of a power wheelchair user being a superhero or something like that. Those are lofty goals, which is great. Yeah. And so I think now, how do you get from recent grad to superhero status? That's the big question, isn't it, for sure. Are you sort of a studious, thoughtful person or are you sort of a big, spontaneous risk taker? I would say I'm definitely more studious and thoughtful. A big part of my journey has been connecting with other disabled performers, asking, how do you do this? How do you make sure there's attendant care on set? When do you talk about your disability? When do you not talk about your disability? How do you find agents that are willing to fight for you? That kind of thing. Agents. That's yes. a big piece of it, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's funny what they say, but part of it is who you know. But I'm gonna tell you something. Everyone knows someone. And if you don't, you know what you do? You go take the classes those someones are teaching. Look for classes and workshops that have teachers that are working in the industry right now. Yeah, that's definitely something I want to keep doing is keep meeting people who know people, so therefore I know people. 1,000%. Let's quickly lean into what you already know as an actor, and let's learn how to apply that in any room that you're walking into. Whether it's an agent meeting, maybe it's a class, you have to walk into that room constantly looking at the three things we do as actors in every scene we ever break apart, which is who am I talking to? What do I want from that person? What am I gonna do to get it? Oh, this definitely just sounds like classic acting classes, 100%. But babe, it applies to life. I see all of these incredible, beautiful intersections with you, all of these communities that you represent. But at some point, especially when you're looking for representation, the focus beyond all other focus is you. Who is Wes? Right? The other things are important parts of who you are, but I think sometimes the most impactful way that you can take space in a room is to simply share that unique something that you have that no one else has. And sometimes when we're so wrapped tightly around the idea of representing for others, we're forgetting the importance of our own story. And for people that are just getting to know you, mm -hmm. that's the most important part. Especially if I wanna know if I can represent you because I truly get who you are and I wanna sell you. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah, well I can promise you one thing, you'll be a bright light in any room you step into. Thank you so much. Fashion Dis. Stream more AMI original content at AMI.ca.